will be the final of the mixed 4 by one under-11s. So in lane one, we have Geelong B-team. Lane two, Coburg. Lane three, Essendon. Lane four, the red shorts of the Camberwell Melbourne Athletes. Lane five, Geelong. Lane six, Keylor. Lane seven, Bendigo. And lane eight, Mentone. So, of course, the way that these finals are seeded, the fastest teams will fall between lanes three and six. So, they will be the ones to watch, particularly the athletes from Essendon in the red and black. Campbell Mulvin in the blue and red. Geelong always figuring in the finals in the white and blue stripes and Keylor in the black and white. So, they'll be the uniforms to watch for. But never know how these finals are going to go. They're all seeded pretty much within one and a half seconds of each other. So it should be a blanket finish towards the end as Essendon look to get the best start of the field. Campbell Mulvin is right there as well. Mentone on the very outside has got a good start as well. But let's look at the athletes or the athlete in the black and red from Essendon. They've got a clean change and another clean change as they pass 200 metres. Keylor is looking good as well. Bendigo even on their outside has made a couple of good changes but Essendon, let's keep our eye on them in the black and the red as they pass their button first, going into the final change and the front straight. Keylor, Bendigo, Geelong coming on the, in the middle. Haven't mentioned them yet, but it is going to be a race for the minor positions because Essendon is charging towards the finish. Essendon will take out the gold medal. Bendigo, Mentone for third. Campbell Mulvin, Keylor and Geelong, I think, were the positions for the rest of them.